Hey everyone, this video is going to go over the first phase of uh, DSR, uh, the new Ultimate that came out. It came out like six weeks ago. Uh, my group has been kind of casually progging it about uh, six to nine hours a week, um, or roughly. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Um, so we're on phase five right now, and I decided I wanted to, you know, just make a few videos on each of the phases. Um, as an Astro, what am I doing? who my healer partner is, uh, why I'm putting certain cooldowns in certain places, different timings, basically a uh, tips and trick video for um, any uh, astrologians that are uh, currently attempting this ultimate or are going to attempt it in the future. Uh, just giving you some ideas of where I'm placing certain cooldowns and whatnot, and obviously uh, take it with a grain of salt. Every team comp is gonna be a little bit different in how they function. Um, and your co-healers and whatnot may want things done differently in general. So don't copy this to a T, but it should give you a pretty good idea how to approach um, each of these phases. So uh, with that said, uh, we're gonna. This video is gonna be on phase number one, um, which uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. There are some tight moments where heals are kind of needed, but uh, beyond those tight moments. Um, it's pretty smooth phase, generally speaking. So, uh, I have a Twitch VOD that I have um, recorded, or, you know, it's a, it's, it's a VOD, I just pulled it up, and I'm just gonna follow this. I'm assuming this is a clear for P1. Uh, I didn't really check ahead, but we're gonna just keep going. So, um, for pre-pool on P1, what I like to do is prep a horoscope that's obviously augmented with the aspect of Helios or whatever. And then I just put a star down. In fact, I put the star down um, late. I was probably just distracted. Uh, I like putting star down at like four seconds, so it gives me enough time to, you know, precast Malefic. But uh, I just did it post pool. Not a big deal. Um, these two healing cooldowns can cover the first raid wide that happens, and everything's pretty Gucci from there. Um, so we'll just play it through a little bit. Don't know how much it skips if I use arrow keys, so I'm going to just let it play through. And you'll see that uh, star popped. Everyone is basically full healed um, at this point. And yeah. Right here. Obviously, there's the empty dimension that we're going to... Uh, that the uh, tank tanks the tank buster. And then a little bit later, uh, Charbert does Heaven's Blaze. So what I do is I use Collective Unconscious. Um, Basically, right after that, we dodge that donut while, while we're like inside of it. Any like whatever my next off global window is, I use collective because that 10% uh, will last till the heavens blaze. So, if it happens on the rest of the party, um, so it should last. We all get hit, and collective just falls off. Um, if you want to be safe, you can wait an extra GCD and then use it. Anyways, um, this entire time, both are targetable if you're doing pretty standard strat where both are right next to each other, so you're using gravity most of the time. Um, after we've taken the damage, I wait like two or three GCDs, doesn't have to be super exact, and I use a macrocosmos here. Um, the macrocosmos is going to help heal up the first uh, part of the damage that we're about to take. So there's those four cleaves that happen, and then the big cleave on the other four members. And then it flips where the other half does the other thing. Um, I have macro here to basically heal up between those two mechanics to make it a little comfier. So I use macro sometime before that second guy leaves because it's damage plus onto target, obviously. Um, you do the mechanic normally. I come in and I selectively press macro early, so... You'll see I press it right here to top people off to near 100% HP, just enough to basically survive this next hit. Um, once I get to the center, also, I uh, prep a neutral sect. And then once people get close enough to the boss after they've taken their cleaves, then I use my aspected Helios to uh, heal everyone up with neutral sect. Um, something else to note is collective... Uh, so, sorry, Celestial Intersection, just the raid-wide um, healing I used uh, before we spread out. Um, this can be flexed. It's really an unnecessary cooldown. 
ideally you want you could use it here you could do aspected helios into celestial to save you a gcd but um i just do it early so it heals during those cleaves that happened just before that macrocosmos is working with um but you could save it for after but what i like to do here is an aspected helios um, followed by a Helios to make sure everyone's topped off for this next mechanic because this next mechanic hurts a lot and I don't think we have too many mitigation on it as uh, for our, from our group specifically. If I look where it is, there's my Helios right after the Aspected so you can see uh, with our current uh, heal and mitigation plan people are not topped off um, so we do a an Aspected first to start the regens going and put the shields up and then the Helios after to finish helping people get topped off. Um, another thing I also do is a horoscope. So in between uh, the aspected Helios and the Helios, I will use horoscope um, and then Helios to augment the horoscope to be the stronger version. And then I'll off global horoscope after Helios to top off anyone who might have not been fully topped off because you can see on this next mechanic, all we have is neutral shields and we have um, we have shields from uh, we have t we have the dancer little mini shield. I think this is like three percent or two percent or something like that. Uh, actually, it might be more, maybe five percent if it's just flashed. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then we also have uh, sage shields, and you can see how low we drop. Um, so you know, pretty substantial, about 20, 15 percent on the low end. Um, if we don't have you know, the dancer shield, it's safe to say about 10, 15%. So you want everyone topped off. You want to put those neutral shields up. And right when we take that raid wide that happens with the knockback, um, you can prep a aspected Helios while neutral is still up to put uh, regens and shields on everybody after they've taken their damage. And then obviously do the mechanic. I use another aspected Helios, super... Um, doesn't really matter, but this is wasted, completely wasted. I, I did one before, regens will heal everyone up, no problem. Uh, this is just extra, we always overkill this boss by a huge margin, so I don't really care, it's more uh, safety uh, aspect of Helios, but half the pulls I do it, half the pulls I don't. We don't really stay on P1 for very long, it's like one or two pulls usually, so um, yeah. I don't have it. 100% optimized at this point. Uh, you can double dot them at this point. And right here, tanks you'll notice are taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is that I use star. So let's go back and see where I put star. Exactly, because I did forget to mention that. Yes, star comes off CD, assuming I pre-pulled it, because remember on this pool, I did it a little bit after the pool started. Um, it should be already up during this sequence of getting knocked back. So during the knockback cast, or a little bit after it, is where I put the star. And I just centered around Sir Grino, so it's centered. And then it helps heal up the tanks after they take the uh, a few autos and um, get jumped on uh, right here. You see star is ready. Both tanks are taking autos. Star helps them top a little bit off to make that a little more comfy. We're lining up for PlayStation Mechanic. Um, at this point, you could celestial op or celestial. Co sorry, collective unconscious comes up here, and everyone's kind of grouped around the boss. You could center yourself a little bit to give everyone collective for the um, the fire tethers. I do it, but I don't think I even hit everyone. It's just extra, not needed whatsoever. Um, you could also just save it for the raid wide that happens a little bit later with the in and out mechanic. Um, but let's see if I do it in this pool. Yeah, so I step in a little bit. I do collective on everybody. To reduce the amount of damage they're taking. Um, I'm actually surprised we didn't die there. One of those tethers looked a little sketchy. At this point, tanks kind of are, at least in our group, uh, are taking quite a bit of hits. They're uh, kind of out of mitts at this point, as far as I can tell. But, you know, Astro's single target OGCD toolkit is plenty to uh, keep them topped off and not dying. So just keep an eye on them. Uh, you guys should have enough damage where you don't have to super worry about. Uh, Doing damage, just keep your tanks alive. Back to a bunch of gravity spam. This is going to be in or out. At the start of this cast of empty dimension or full 
whatever the other one is empty is obviously the get in this could be where you put your collective unconscious as an alternative you can flash it on everybody who's uh close to the boss and then if it's out then leave after you flash it remember it'll last five seconds um in our case we don't tend to do that uh we have plenty of healing and shields here and that's basically it um obviously it goes into this next mechanic which is pretty simple. Just keep people topped off. Have a horoscope comes back up here, so it's a nice place for the horoscope. Our two minutes are coming up as well, depending how fast you kill it. It's either up already or going to be up soon. Star comes up here as well, which will help a little bit. Um, something that my healer doesn't really do is this first hit on the range is quite scary. Um, my healer doesn't, my co healer doesn't really shield here, but because this phase doesn't really matter, we haven't. I haven't bothered to ask him to fix it. He does have a caracal here uh, for mitigation, and we do have, uh, I think that's it. But yeah, we have a little bit of damage. So I just make sure that they're healed up from my star as soon as they get cleaved, because like another tick or two and they're dead. Um, so I, I kind of pump my off globals there in the first cleave that occurs. If you have tanks tanking the first one, um, then it's obviously pretty simple. And then you can have collective here for the pure of heart, but as long as the tanks survive, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, that's phase one. It's super straightforward. Uh, I hope you maybe took something out of it that might be helpful. Um, I think the other phases are a bit more engaging with the healing, and uh, especially phase two, there's some really interesting uh, optimizations I have discovered. Um, so stay tuned for that video. Um, if you want to catch my streams where you can, you know, watch this and watch our prog, um, it's sliced underscore pies on Twitch uh, TV. So uh, you can watch me there. And uh, thanks for watching.